what, if anything, changes with the league change? I just think being unfamiliar with your conference opponents. I mean, I, I think that there's always a comfort level of which programs are going to bring a, a certain style and a certain way to play. And I, I think now it's just going to be like I tell the girls every day, NCAA time. You're going to see somebody different that we've seen 12 straight years and just be prepared because it's NCAA time. How do you try to prepare for that? I mean, I'm assuming game film and whatever. When you yeah, yeah. the coaches that. are going to work that much harder this year. I, I think understanding elements, obviously going to peop other people's facilities, um, obviously atmosphere, you know, just doing our research and trying to understand not only the way they play, but also the environment, the climate, uh, the travel. So, you know, I think there's a lot of factors that we really need to think through you know, through Lee as a staff and just uh, do what we always do. Put an opponent out there and we're going to beat them. Do you have a formal video exchange like football does? We do. do? We do. And uh, that's something that the Big 12 does differently than the Big East uh, has done in the past. So, you know, we're going to be on board with that and uh, we'll see how that goes. You were talking about new opponents. Obviously, that works both ways and that yeah. they also have to see somebody they're not used to in you guys. How much can you try to use that to your advantage a little bit? Well, you know, I, I do think that we are kind of the new kid on the block. So I, I think, well, many reasons we need our fans to come out here because we do need to make it a tough atmosphere. And I think that as we travel to different places, the Big 12 really prides themselves on attendance and school spirit and, and those types of things. So I think that is going to be critical when we have, you know, teams coming in and how we're going to deal with them. So I, I think that's going to be obviously helpful. But, uh, you know, we're in a totally different climate and uh, you know so I think that could be used obviously home field advantage. You've got some experience coming back but not a lot of juniors and seniors I think six seniors yeah. two juniors if that yeah. sounds right uh, what are you learning about you know this group of crop yeah. of kids? Well out? you know I, when I spoke to the team in our first team meeting I said we're very bottom heavy and I, I think that makes this team unique you know, I, I think obviously there's a lot that these freshmen need to learn, but they're very open-minded, uh, they're very hardworking, and uh, we just have to keep working on the leadership and, and showing them West Virginia soccer and how we've done things in the past and uh, just keep educating. But uh, I couldn't ask for a better freshman group, uh, more hardworking or, or willing to just kind of keep their ears open and, and work at it. What's the most difficult thing about sustaining the level of success you've established here? Well, you know, obviously we spoke to this also. Um, we're going into this conference, you know, back to back Big East champions. So immediately, immediately they're going to want to uh, baptize us to Big 12 soccer. So my Catholic um, came out in me. But, um, but you know, I mean, I, I think that we always have a target on our back. You know, the success and the hard work that these ladies have done has always put us in a position where, you know, there's, there's pressure to succeed. So we know that, um, you know, we're, we're going to be playing against some people that want to, um, you know, take something from us. And we got to remember how hard we've worked for that respect. So, you know, we, we know what's coming. We know, we know adversity is going to be coming. We know they're going to throw everything at us because once they beat us, we can make or break a season. I know you never want to re always dwell on the past, but it's hard to forget, too. How, how anxious was everyone to get going uh, after the unfortunate early exit from the NCAA? Yeah, you know, I, I mean, I think that's definitely something that was addressed um, in our team meeting. I, I think that was something that the girls really pinpointed as something that this program doesn't do, you know, with all the Sweet 16s and obviously success and advancing. So. The girls know that. They know that they're going to have to define this 2012 team, and that's going to be part of it. So I, I do think there was a lot of disappointment last year, but uh, you know that was that that was a learning experience, and, and now we're moving forward. With all the success and that this program has had, as you've been talking about, how much uh, of a challenge is it with a young team to try to get them to grasp the tradition that's been built up here and, and to to be a part of it? Yeah, you know, I, I think my staff has done a real good job recruiting in the right people with the right attitude. Um, you know, I, I think it's always hard. Any coach will tell you they always want to practice more. So I can tell you that I wish I had more time with uh, these young ladies, but, uh, 
you know, I can only control what I can control and I'm going to try to be the best coach I can be to give them four years of experience in probably four weeks. So, um, again, that's always something you have to address with a, a young team and freshmen, but uh, I think the staff did a great job bringing in the right kids with the right attitude.